scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're the mighty God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you're the all wise God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lift your hands and sing to Him. You are mighty in this place. I tell you, I see angels in this place. That's what I'm saying to the Spirit. You are mighty in this place. Mirrors of angels, mirrors of angels. You are mighty in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faithful God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, forever, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God forever. Sing it unto Him. You are invoking His presence tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Spirit of the Living God. Tonight we pray that you will invade this place. Glory to your name, O God. You're the only one who deserves to be exalted. There is no man who competes with you. There is no man who can take your place. The Bible says, What is man that thou art mindful of? Not the son of man that thou visitest him. You have made him a little lower than Elohim, crowned him with glory and virtue, set him over the works of your creation. Jesus, 
something happens when I mention your name. the voice as you're singing this song I'm seeing miracle jobs miracle jobs the Holy Spirit is ministering to me Releasing jobs for people, releasing jobs for families. I said the delay, the delay of employment is coming to an end for many people. The delay of employment. something strange that will begin to happen in the spirit people will start dancing in the spirit this is what I see it's a mystery it's going to happen by the spirit literally literally dancing in the spirit it's an operation of the Holy Spirit is releasing tonight 
is doing a miracle in the midst of his people. Let's just flow with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The miracle service for next week has begun already. Dancing in the Spirit. The Holy Spirit is moving people and influencing them. Influencing them by an ability that is greater. Shaboka Supra is Kalabariaga. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Forever you will be. To worship you, Shira na 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 masala na na, forever you. Shana na 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 wa na na musuka na na. You're the Lamb of
Just lift your hands. Of your presence, we your temple. We give you reverence. Now arise from your throne. And be blessed by our praise as we glory in your embrace. Let your Lord, we wait on you. For you are that river that flows from Zion. Bring in healing. Bring in salvation. We have come tonight, O oh God, expecting you to bless us. We are not in a hurry. We are not in a hurry. We will wait. Just keep your hands lifted. For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength shall be restored as we wait upon I will wait on the For in your presence there's fullness of joy and our strength will be restored for we wait Upon the Lord, yes, we wait upon the Lord. Oh, wait on Him, there is strength coming upon you. We wait upon the Lord, we wait upon the Lord. Shena na 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 mo na so na 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 mi. Shena ma na mo so na 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 na. Shena na na shena na na ni na na. Shena na mo so na na ma ni na mo se da ni na 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 na. Shena ma de na na da ba ni na mo so na na ni. Ma na na mo so na na ni. Lord, we wait on you. You are drawing strength from the throne. Don't you think you are wasting time at all? This is part of the meeting. Already he's doing miracles. He's touching people by his anointing. Touching people by his anointing. No man is able to respond to your situation. We're invoking an anointing that is greater than us. Power that is greater than us. I hear the Spirit say unto me, lay your burdens down. Lay your burdens down. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Lay your burdens down. The bills, the sickness, the frustrations. For I am able, said the Spirit of God. I am able, said the Spirit of God. Lay your burdens down. You have allowed your situations to overwhelm you. 
you have allowed your situations to be cloud your faith i am still able i am still able said the spirit of god i am still able that's what the lord is telling us tonight i am able you may not know how the miracle will come to pass but i am able i am able that's what the lord is saying i'm moving ahead of you into that area of darkness the lord is giving people miracles responding to your individual needs i may not know what they are but you came for koinonia the god of heaven is meeting men at the point of their needs i go before you i go before you i go before you i'm seeing what looks like a cleaner god is saying i'm erasing your mistakes that's what god is saying to someone i'm erasing your mistakes i'm erasing your past i'm giving you a new beginning i'm giving you a new beginning a new beginning someone i'm restoring your dreams and visions that's what god is saying i'm restoring i'm restoring your dreams those encounters you used to have those supernatural encounters you stopped writing for a long time because the visitation ceased tonight the oil is being opened and released onto you it's like a fragrance you are receiving it it's coming upon your life that's what the spirit is saying it's time to come back to the secret place. It's time to come back to the secret place. For someone, the Lord is ministering. You used to spend time with me two hours every night. But you stopped. You stopped. There were all kinds of distractions. But the Lord is saying, I'm still waiting for you. In that place of encounter, I'm still waiting for you to show you great things. To show you great things to show you great things the Lord is speaking to a man here you are an engineer and he's saying do not give up I'm about to step into your life do not give up the Lord gave you a word by January that he will honor you but as it is you've not seen anything no projects no work but the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's stepping in, even in this glory. Stepping in in this glory. There are a number of ladies here. You really used to hear God with clarity. But all kinds of distractions came into your life and sincerely for a long time. You cannot say you really had God with a clear direction. But the Lord is bringing a restoration right now. That's what is happening. The hearing ears. God is opening your ears once again. To start hearing the voice of the Spirit. With clarity. I'm seeing, I'm seeing green grasses. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing freshness to your spiritual life. That life of stillness. Stillness carrying yesterday's grace yesterday's glory the lord is replacing it with something new and fresh thank you jesus you alone will do these things and glorify yourself. You have come tonight to experience His grace. The anointing of the Spirit is strong. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Back 
to upright this calendar. Lord, let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. Let no burden remain. According to your promises, I can stand secure. Would you carve upon my heart this truth that sets me free? According to your word, oh Lord, be it unto me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, says the works that I do shall also do greater works than this shall be. Spirit of God, we thank you for your presence. speaking a word to someone and he's saying the harassment comes to stop it comes to full stop tonight the harassment in dreams that spirit that comes to you to oppress you the harassment stops the harassment stops by the anointing of the Holy Spirit the harassment stops the harassment stops But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. expecting a touch you're already touching people in the name of Jesus please everyone just lay your right hand on your tummy this is the instruction God is giving let's just act lay your right hand on your tummy please no instruments everything just stop let's, let's just obey what the Lord is saying just lay your right hand on your tummy don't mind me this is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. Now, there are many of you who are going to be receiving strange graces for the next level. Supernatural direction. It will come like fire inside and outside. Right now, oh God, confirm your word with power across this building and in every of the overflows. Right now, just keep your hands on your stomach. Miracles. Shabakataya. Let it leave the heavens and come to the earth. Miracles. Miracles. Everywhere. Outside, there is a mighty angelic walk. It's like an impregnation that is happening outside. Strange signs outside. In every one of the overflows. Strange signs of the spirit. Strange signs. There are two ladies at my back in the worship team. I see the power of God touching you right now. Strange signs, that fire 
from your innermost being from your innermost being right now the lord is doing that miracle across the entire auditorium he's touching people let's just let him do what he's doing because this is the answer to your prayer this is why you have prayed you can't stand it lord let it leave your throne let it not be restrained in the heavens until it steps into the destinies of your people this is what they have prayed for they have fasted for it they have prayed they have fasted they have prayed they have fasted then let it come oh god let it come oh god the grace that can open strange doors strange testimonies strange testimonies shaka barakusia just the guitar just play minors just on the guitar go ahead in the name of the lord jesus christ not the bass guitar just keep your hands on your stomach the Lord is doing a miracle the Lord is saying he's stepping into the finances of families this is what I'm hearing that's why he told me let the guitar play because he wants to speak the Lord is doing miracles in finance in the finances of many families right now I'm hearing favor financial favor I'm releasing financial favor you will hear the testimony it will start in your life it will flow to your family that's what the Lord is saying where are they oh God touch them touch them touch them touch them bring performance to your word bring creation to your word financial miracles financial miracles the Lord is saying it's time to move to the next level he's speaking to families it's time to move financially there is a mantle coming I'm seeing it like a dew it's like the dew of heaven if it comes upon you it's your family he's talking about if it comes upon you expect it don't just receive expect a testimony I don't know how it will happen but if you are affected by this prophetic word then your family is under the influence of a financial anointing Lord spare not your hands stretch it from the heavens stretch it from the heavens release financial miracles that's what the Lord is saying for many of you it will do you like a dream you wouldn't even know how it will happen supernatural connections strategic alliances by the Spirit of God meeting the people that matter meeting the people that matter financial saviors financial helpers Joseph of Arimathea's rising for you rising for you this is what you have prayed for it is important that you receive testimonies you receive miracles there is a lady you traveled from the south like a, one of the Yoruba countries you came all the way from the south and you came asking the Lord to visit your family right now the miracle is already beginning for your family such an invasion of the Spirit of God it's bringing light to every area of darkness There is a brother the Lord is speaking. He's saying, leave the wedding date at September. Don't move it. Leave it there. I will make it happen. It will be by my spirit. The Lord is speaking to a brother. Leave the wedding date at September. Leave it there. Don't change it because of finances. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. I will move and go ahead of you. The Lord is speaking to a woman here, not a young lady, a woman. The dream that I gave you July 2012 is about to come to pass. The dream that I gave you July 2012, July 2012 is coming to pass. 
speedily july 2012 that dream that i gave you july 2012 is coming to pass a miracle is coming for a gentleman by the name musa musa a gentleman by the name musa the lord is bringing a miracle for him right now god is healing a lady of appendicitis appendicitis that's what that's what it is you don't know but you've been having severe pain severe pain is appendicitis and the lord is bringing a miracle right now there is a man here you've been trusting god for promotion this is five years five years the lord says in the next three months your letter will arrive in the next three months and you will testify pay attention to the prophetic words there is grace to make them come to pass Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please be seated if you can. Just leave those under the anointing. Just sit if you can. God is doing strange things tonight. There are three ladies. This will come upon supernatural laughter in a very strange way they can't control it i will worship you forever love you forever this god is too don't just bring people out like that please this is a prophetic experience they'll never be able to stop the laughter it's not it's not about what they want to do is a is a message i will worship you forever love you forever because i prophesy to all three of you let your family step into a season of laughter right now i release that anointing even as you are laughing i release it in the name of jesus there is authority in your laughter i declare by that authority in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names the lord is bringing miracles to people glorify yourself oh god in the name of jesus listen we do business in this kingdom on the strength of mysteries mysteries are secret codes of operation he said the secrets of the lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants there is a way to make things happen in the spirit madam the witchcraft in your family dies forever it leaves your family right now i command that spirit you take your hands of her life in the name of Jesus Christ. James, 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 you are a visitor. Who is that? Is there someone like that? James. There's someone called James. He's a visitor. This is your first time of coming. Run. The Lord wants to use you and bring a miracle to your family. But look at me. God needs to save you. Huh? There are many things wrong with your life. Many things. Huh? You are a bad boy. God is going to change your entire life. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not insulting you, but there will be a miracle for you right now. Because the hand of God is upon your life, but there is a spirit that is destroying you. A spirit that is destroying you. 
I cast that spirit right now. Let it live your life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you can use anybody and anything. You brought James out. In the name of Jesus. Let me talk to one more lady. Helene. I'm hearing a name. Helene. Is there someone with that name? Helene. Come. Who came with you? Came alone. You came alone. But why am I seeing a man standing near you? Listen. There is a spirit tormenting you. Let her go now. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. This has stopped her life. Tied everything. I'm seeing everything under chains. There is a man standing. And this man is shouting and saying he's married to you. I curse you by the God of heaven. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, that spirit lives your life forever. I bring you complete deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Are you married? That's it for your marriage. This is the reason why you're not married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because this has been your prayer. This has been your desire. Anything you start. And I need to pray for you because your stomach is swelling. It's even embarrassing you. You are thinking it's because you are eating too much. If I don't pray for you, they will tell you something like fibroid is growing. And we have to pray. We curse it. It dies a natural death and goes back there. That person that comes to oppress you in your dream never returns to you again forever in the name of Jesus. And may doors open for you strangely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our time is gone. Um, there are three things. Three keys. Three mysteries. That. Can invoke the manifested presence of God. The manifest presence of God. In the life of a man. In a ministry. I wanted to start a series on throne room encounters but the lord asked me to talk about this number one is obedience we're going to be fast because i want us to pray god still wants to visit people my sister come this lady um where the usher is standing that gentleman right one two three just your rope the third lady come no not you the lady at your back come Yes, she's the one. You come, please. Please save our time. Um, the Lord says I should prophesy to you that the rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. The rejected stone becomes the chief cornerstone. You may look at yourself and think you are nobody. You may look at yourself and think you are a weak person. This is what has been destroying you. You compare yourself with people. You have been crying simply because you are not doing well. You are not doing well in anything. And then people have been insulting you. And this has made you to feel so bad. While you were sitting there, the Lord opened my eyes. And I saw a lot of misery. You see the lady crying. You see, let me tell you. There are all kinds of people seated in this place tonight. When you see people just sitting, you may not know what is destroying them, eating them up. Because the destiny that I see is far different from what I see right now. This is already putting a lot of pressure. You love God, but you know, this sense of inferiority is killing you and eating you up. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the rejected stone will later become the chief cornerstone. Lord Jesus, I pray for this dear lady. There is nobody you cannot change. There is nobody you cannot touch. May the God that I serve visit you. May he give you a new beginning. I cut you away from bad friends and bad influences that make you try to do things to belong. No. Leave them this night. Don't have anything to do with them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Madam, Madam, you are asking the Lord to talk to me that I should minister to you. I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are praying and your prayer is coming to my ears. You are bowing your head and you are saying, Oh God, please let this man talk to me. What is the relationship between you and the woman sitting close to you? She's my elder sister. Do I know? Come. Because I'm seeing that the miracle is not just for you alone, but God is doing something for the family. Please stand up. Kai, okay, this woman has suffered. Seriously. I look at this woman, I'm seeing pains. You are a very kind woman, but what is this thing that makes you in trouble? All sorts of trouble. Where is your husband? What's he doing? Madam, God needs to visit three things. That's what the Lord is showing me. Number one is your finances. Things are dying in your family. That thing your husband is doing, before he collects his salary, he's already owing. There is serious trouble. You have cried about this thing. It's even causing trouble for you people at home right yes, now. Sir. Is that true? Yes. Your husband is in, in fact, sometimes he looks as if, you know, you have to look at yourself and say, am I irritating this man yes, because sir. of the way he's behaving? You are even suspecting that maybe he's having an affair with somebody yes, else. Sir. The Lord is ending this confusion for you because you are a kind woman. There is a spirit responsible for your tragedy. This woman is a very kind woman, but I'm seeing bad luck everywhere you go. That's what I'm seeing. There's nothing you do that works. See, let me tell you, the power of God. Look at this family crying. You know, sometimes people think we just do these things because we are emotional and we are wasting time. Did you know there are people, as they are sitting down there, that's their last opportunity. They are saying, they will now go to a prophet or somebody and he will tell them, bring 100,000. Bring 200,000. Remove your clothes. Let me bath you. Let me do this. And then after that one, you add all kinds of things. Because I'm looking at this woman and I'm seeing a lot of struggle. The same spirit causing you pain is what wants to destroy her life. And destroy what is supposed to be an, a source of joy for her marriage huh we have to pray did you come alone they are crying i think our official assignment yesterday she told me about your story i supposed to go back to abuja yeah my Changed three universities for my son. It's a drug addict. My first son, 23 years. A drug addict. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Suleiman. It's not just that this boy is a drug addict. Ah, I don't like what I'm seeing, no. Because they want to convert this boy. That's what I'm saying. This is, this is not a nice thing. We are going to pray. Truly this woman has suffered. But things are going to change. Your husband needs a miracle. A big miracle. Do you know this woman is so kind. She's not even concerned about herself. She would rather not have clothes than for her children. This is the kind of woman I'm seeing in the spirit. I sold my car to pay school fees. I sold my car to pay my son's. Can you work on this technical or Shadrach? Are you doing something wrong? I sold my car to pay my son's school Your fees. Your car? To pay whose school fees? My son's school fees. The boy that is. Oh, yes. look at this. Where is he? See, let me tell you may god make this never be your testimony you don't know what it means the child you are waiting for trusting that god will use him to wipe your tears and the devil just hijacks his destiny now no car and the son is not even serious i need to pray for you because you have not slept very well in days madam i'm looking at your sister and i'm seeing that you have not slept i'm hearing you people saying what what is wrong with our family especially the girls the ladies in your family that's what you you are the one who is saying that thing you are telling her 
I'm seeing you people in a discussion and you, you are telling her what is wrong with our family. All the ladies, they are virtuous, they love God, but nothing good comes out of it. And there are families like this, seated, looking at me. Is that true, madam? Yes, sir. Because I'm hearing a conversation and she's asking you. We are saying, seven, seven ladies, seven How women. many of you? Seven of us. How, who is doing well among you? Nobody. Nobody. You see what I'm saying? Seven ladies. Nobody is doing well. And all of them are serious and nice, virtuous ladies. They either get married to foolish men yes. or get married to all kinds of things. Yes, sir. Where is number four? Who is number four among them? It's our mother. Huh? Her mother. There is a miracle that God wants to give her because the Lord said that she's number four in the order is visiting her. My dear, please calm down. What happened to your mother in her marriage? The devil wants to bring it to happen to you. We are going to destroy. Their father is not with her mother. That's what I'm saying. We are going to destroy because this one so I will worship him forever, love him forever because this God is too good. I will worship him forever, love him forever. Because this God is too good. Bring that lady who shouted. There is a miracle God wants to give her family. Is it okay if I just continue ministering, please? I know I'm supposed to share something, but the the thing God is doing now, God wants to talk to people. Let's let's just let him solve serious problems here yeah. is your time for breakthrough stand up you come i came all the way an angel of the lord was walking and said i should follow him and he brought me to your place come it's time for god to wipe your tears you get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor, I just want to say thank you, thank you, you get the glory, you get the glory, hallelujah, we don't kill, but I'm seeing someone's uncle dying, I'm seeing that man in a shrine, concocting something, and saying all the ladies would not marry, but I'm seeing like thunder striking him. That's what the Lord is showing. Help that lady. Right now. I'm seeing it happen. I announce our victory if I be a servant of the Lord. Right now. May the earth open and swallow them. I speak it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Any man sitting on what belongs to you. Any man sitting on your glory. Man, kabas, kabas, kada, kata. Jimmy, God is bringing a miracle for your sister. I'm seeing your sister. I'm seeing your face, and I'm seeing her still flash. Is she here? Who is? Come. I didn't even know that she's here. I'm seeing the Lord is saying He's bringing a miracle. For her. I'm seeing somebody clean footprints on the ground. That's what I'm seeing. You are moving and you are leaving footprints. And the footprints, I see flies all around it. But I'm seeing someone cleaning, cleaning it. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He says, I should tell you, behold, I will do a new thing. God will begin a strange walk in your life and it's going to surprise you. A strange work you have a desire for God you sincerely love God and let me tell you the desire is not a waste the same way your brother is loving God and being passionate look at me it's not about perfection it's about sincerity of motive the, the journey to self perfection is unnecessary and exhausting what God requires is a sincere desire for me let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing that will wipe the past of this lady's life the past that eats you i curse it by the god of heaven in the name of jesus may your conscience be purged by the blood may the water of the word cleanse you 
and the grace be supplied unto you for a new dimension for a new level i release this grace upon you in the name of the lord jesus christ let's go to exodus 40 33 please exodus 40 33 we really have to be fast Exodus 40, 33. Moses wanted to once again experience the manifested presence of God. But he could not see that presence find expression until his obedience was perfected, complete. Let me tell you something. Half obedience is not obedience at all. Half obedience. You must obey to the latter. God is very meticulous about his instructions. Are we together now? And so God kept watching as they attempted building it. And then 40 verse 33. He says, And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up for the hanging of the court gate. Right? Read the last sentence if you have opened there. He says, So Moses finished the work. He finished building according to pattern. Obeyed as instructed to the latter. And something happened in the next verse, 34. It says, then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation. And the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. The word glory is the Hebrew word kabod. The essence, the fullness, the expression of all that makes a man what he is. Or whatever deity so when we say the glory of god the effulgence of his person right fill the temple 35 and moses was not able to enter the tent of congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the lord filled the temple when you are obedient you will see the glory of the lord in your life in most remarkable ways you don't have to be a pastor to see the glory of God. You don't have to be a man of God. Once you are kingdom compliant, the sacrifice of complying with the principles of the kingdom, then you are authorized to experience the glory. You see, you may not be able to see all of the clouds and all of that, but the glory of God is made manifest in miracles, strange testimonies dramatic operations of the hands of God that leaves you baffled everyone who sees you knows that this is by the finger of God that's somebody's testimony tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ grace to obey grace to obey you must cry for it complete obedience gives you access access to experiencing the glory number two the second key to experiencing the manifestation of God's glory is prayer. Prayer. Matthew chapter 7, 17. Matthew 17, verse 1 to 8. Matthew 17. Matthew 17 verse 1 to 8 this was the encounter that we call the transfiguration of Jesus I apologize for the inability of the media to switch for now please just bear with us I'm sure they are working on it and after six days listen Jesus taketh Peter James and John his brother and bringeth them up into a high mountain privately there are certain things in the kingdom that are not just for christians listen i know we have this idea that yes god doesn't want to hide anything from us but you see the dispensation of spiritual realities is according to the degree to which the spirit of god can trust you there are certain trust levels if you have not attained certain deep mysteries of the kingdom cannot be committed to you the bible says that he was the one who called all the disciples but he took three and he says there is something i want to show you privately what did he show them privately a mystery the bible says and was transfigured before them listen 
he went to the place of prayer and that transfiguration began and the bible says his face did shine like the sun and his raiment was as white as the light and behold there appeared unto them moses and elijah talking with him listen verse 4 he says then then answered peter and said unto jesus lord it is good for us to be here if thou wilt let us make this and that and that and that you know and then he was just speaking and so on and so forth and then the bible says verse 5 while he yet spoke jesus was communicating with them in the place of prayer and he was trying to make an arrangement and the bible says behold a bright cloud overshadowed them and then behold a voice spoke out of the cloud and said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased hear ye him verse 6 he says and when the disciples heard it they fell on their face and they were much terrified he says and jesus came and touched them and said arise and be not afraid and when they had lifted up their eyes they saw no man except jesus only listen there is a dimension of the glory of god you will never experience until the ministry of prayer brings you there you can do every bible study you know to do you can read every concordance takes and so on and so forth there is a degree of open heavens the manifestation of the glory of god upon a man's life that is a direct answer to the ministry of prayer are we together now he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 unto them to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint he spake a parable B by prayer i don't just mean oh god give me tea give me bread that's just, that's petition 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 give me tea give me bread that's petition hallelujah the kind of prayer i'm talking about is the type that is said in the book of james effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man you see let me tell you there is nothing in your life that can substitute for the absence of a healthy life of prayer no matter your word level it would show when a man does not have an altar that is alive an altar of prayer the first thing that disappears is discernment discernment is lack of discernment is spiritual blindness what lack of discernment is to the realm of the spirit that's what blindness is in the physical realm the moment a man is close to the impulses of the activities of the spirit there is no effect so things happen around our lives and we we become victims we become um, um, victims of the effects of things that happen not the initiators of the faith the minister of prayer it was on the strength of prayer that when satan spoke to peter jesus looked at him and said get thee behind me satan and he said peter satan desired by discernment he desired to sift you like wheat he said but i have what what was the antidote prayed for you not discussed with him i prayed for you peter something is wrong with your discernment you didn't even know when the holy ghost was speaking to you you just said i am the christ and the spirit took over your voice you didn't even know the difference he said i'll pray for you because that's what is wrong the absence of a healthy altar of prayer it has numbed your discerning ability there are many believers here and it's sad if you are a leader here and you're a pastor believe me if you don't pray you will your discernment will be dark and blocked one of the greatest advantage of walking in the spirit is access to feeling the impulses of the environment of the spirit the realm of the spirit is a real realm like the physical realm right when you get born again and you are filled with the holy ghost as you begin to pray the first thing that happens to you is an activation of the ability to interact with the atmosphere of the spirit it may start in dreams it may start in visions it could be dramatic but then your spirit listen to my message spiritual perception your impulses of the spirit right they be, you begin to pick signals there is danger uh -uh. 
God does not want me to go here. He doesn't have to give you a reason. Lack of prayer has got a lot of catastrophe. Not all these things will just stroll around. 30 minutes, one hour, you just throw back. It's called the effectual fervent. You don't add time to fervent. You add passion to it. And as far as your passion can drive you, that's the validity of the prayer time. It's not about saying I'll pray for 10 minutes or 5 hours or 8 hours. You will pray until the nothing of the Spirit releases you. You are praying to burn things in the Spirit, not for the formality of religion. The problem with the prayer ministry is that most people pray to feel spiritual and then maybe to intimidate themselves, their little group. So if I pray for 30 minutes, you add 30 minutes to it and it makes you look spiritual. No. When you are a spiritual man, there is always an object that drives you to the prayer part time. And as you pray, you keep checking the rewards of your victory as against the impulse and stop only when that victory is established this is where we miss it when elijah prayed was it just according to desire she wanted an effect first time he prayed only god knows how long that was he said go and check there was no result what did he do again we stop we stop because it's two hours we use earthly time to gauge certain things you see the 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 things we are contending against sometimes will require time and certain dynamics of spiritual operation to produce victory so if you have this idea that because you are you want to pray you just sense god wants to speak to you and then you pray for 30 minutes or one hour and you feel i am okay you see you are using a wrong timing the same way if you pray for eight hours just blindly and religiously and think because you pray for eight hours it means you are making contact with the spirit no sir you pray according to the guidance of the spirit the spirit of god instructs you he navigates you your prayer there is a connection between a burden in the spirit and something in the realm of the spirit and you pray until there is a release when the servant came and said i've seen the sign elijah stopped at once he didn't say let me just continue since i've gone so far he stopped at once because prayer has a purpose once the purpose is achieved move on in action brothers and sisters hear me especially for those who are workers those who are students those who are maybe business people and so on and so forth the the propensity for negligence in the place of prayer is very high are we together as a student you have lecture in the morning sometimes marathon lectures you are finishing in the evening you may have fellowship or you have certain things the truth is when you calculate it, you'll find out that there's no time for quality prayer. Are we together now? You see, the most important thing about prayer is not necessarily praying eight, eight hours every day. At your level, you cannot pray eight hours every day. You'll be irresponsible in your activity. The key is to maintain the fire and set periodic times when you compensate for the absence of the secret place. At least I expect everybody once a week you should be able to have some time when you can dedicate certain things. And let me tell you, in my life, one of the biggest secrets of my prayer life is the mystery of night prayers. I can tell you this. Ask any man that prays. The night time is when men, men gain crowns in the spirit. Why do you think people die in the night when they sleep? Why do you think people's sicknesses and diseases amplify in the night? There are many mysteries we don't know in the body of Christ. Maximize your night time, especially for many of us here because we are young. Establish things in the night. Don't crash into trouble and then you are wondering what to do in the day. The daytime is for manifestation. We settle realities in the night. Believe me, it will not rob you of sleep. It's just a little sacrifice of prayer that will bring you tremendous power. I hear God clearly at night. There are times I go outside and I just sit down. Everyone has slept. I just sit down outside and I'm meditating. Many of us have been seated in the night time. 
the devil has studied your spiritual life and he has seen your area of vulnerability let me tell you something do you know there is something called slumber i hope you know it's a spirit uncontrolled passion for sleep you are passionate about sleep i'm not just talking of resting you know you are tired and you are resting some of us is a spirit no matter how you plan to pray once it's night even if you slept from morning till that time you are just going to thank the lord lord i bless you and snore your way to the morning it's a spirit if no one has told you something is wrong with your destiny many politicians and businessmen their time of meeting is in the night witches and wizards and demons that do all kinds of things you take advantage of the mysteries in the spirit there are times and seasons that grant you access by grace you see if you do not know these things if you do not know these things you will you will miss out on a lot of things why is it called the lord's supper not the lord's breakfast not the lord's lunch why was it done in the night because there was no time no it was a mystery i pray for every dead prayer life here or every prayer life that is need driven father i'm coming before you now the other time you gave me five thousand listen if you really want to be strong and gain power and open the heavens your prayer must be effectual the key to effectual prayer is praying in tongues there is a place for praying in your understanding but i'm telling you if you want to make an effect pray in the spirit for no man knows what is in the heart of a man said the spirit that is in that man so no man knows what is in the heart of god you don't just go around grumbling just praying sing one or two choruses which is good the key to prayer i'm telling you effectual prayer that builds you is praying in tongues spend time praying in tongues not just in english or in your language no there is a place for that pray in the spirit and please if you are here and you have not received the baptism of the holy spirit correctly and seriously i want you to know that there is something you are missing now i know i don't want to go into all the details our time is gone we come from different churches different ministries i know we have different ideas my goal of teaching this tonight is not to create controversy but i love you too much not to tell you the truth if you are not filled with the holy spirit i don't know what you have been taught about it we have teachings already there you can listen to it this is there is a need for you to say lord i need to upgrade it's not just about praying blah, 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 making noise no this is a spiritual language the bible calls it an instrument that helps our infirmities what is our infirmity the bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought to but the spirit makes intercession are we together don't say i just love the lord i'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm fine honestly i don't want to complicate my spiritual life it's already complicated this world we live is very complicated the ministry of prayer is what will straighten that crooked path he said elijah was a man of like passion like us he said he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah locked the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said the heavens will not be open except at my word not the word of any man of god that is serious these are men who took territories they 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 taught the heavens open one time he was up the mountain some enemies came you see that a man of prayer let me tell you if you're a man of prayer and any man goes to any shrine to concoct nonsense oh come on ask the prophets of baal what happened to them the bible says they kept calling on baal for money elijah said maybe he's sleeping wake him you know why many christians are weak in the body of christ we love comfort to a fault and and we men of god are the ones who have destroyed people i believe in prosperity you know that i believe in the blessings of god but brothers and sisters let me tell you there is the sacrifice you must make for your destiny the sacrifice of prayer it's not all about having cities there are giants on every mountain are you hearing what i'm telling you there are giants on every mountain you're a pastor you are not praying you just share a revelation and you are happy you believe you come on stage no prayer 
no periodic fasting no strength you just want to speak and let things happen do you think god is a herbalist no god is not a herbalist please if you're a pastor here pay attention to what i'm telling you except you want to joke around with your members or you are ready for empty pews the generation we are in now members are not ready to waste their time for nonsense again once they come and sit down and you are wasting their time they will get up and they will leave no matter how you pray pour one gallon of oil on your head we need power it takes prayer to access open heavens are we together we add drama in churches for two hours and then when he's about to pray they say everybody bow your head as if we are mourning somebody just recites a prayer request for 10 minutes they say okay thank you jesus for answering prayer and people get up and that's why we keep getting weaker and weaker no discernment spiritual things are flying around your territory nobody has the eyes to see and the ears to hear until it happens and everybody is confused may that be, not be your testimony in the name of jesus christ three enemies of prayer number one excess food excess food there is a name for it it's called gluttony believe me if you take what i'm telling you your prayer life will step into another dimension am i saying you should not eat no not at all excess food gluttony there is a connection between food and the flesh number two excess sleep excess sleep the second enemy of prayer excess sleep number three the third enemy of prayer worry 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 is a spirit that's why the first assignment of worry is to bring you to a point of depression have you seen people with worry i don't mean people who are just thinking real worry they can't even talk uh-uh are you doing well they just keep quiet because satan's goal is to shut your mouth he knows that there is power that is released if you open your mouth he says my heart is indicting a good matter yeah i speak of excellent things he said my tongue is the pen of a ready writer psalms 45 1 and 2. my tongue is the pen of a ready writer men ought always to pray brothers and sisters pray turn and tell your neighbor pray say pray again say pray again say pray in the night yeah pray in the night you will you will command tremendous power there were times in zaria most of the people here will tell you night time was the time people built strength ah come on you would see all kinds of strategies of prayer strategies but well, god is helping us i'm just i'm just challenging you brothers and sisters please hear me if you are married husband and wife pray a praying husband and wife is a staying husband and wife a lazy husband and wife is a divorced family already it's a matter of time because every spirit the devil will move across families and he will come like the angel of death pass through every city but when he got to Goshen, he came he saw that he saw that there was a fortification what fortification have you put around your life john chapter one when satan went before god what happened he met a man who made oblations for his children it was a similitude of prayer and satan said i came but i could not access him have you not built an hedge around him satan is a prayerless christian is a powerless christian beauty and glory of god comes upon your life when you pray don't put prayer as an instrument of crashing this is the problem some of us pray but the entire scope of our prayer is god give me are you not seeing give me and we try to manipulate god and bend his hand that's why he gave you the blessings of praying in the spirit pray in the spirit in the spirit you can put worship songs your earphone or something to create the atmosphere pray in the spirit even if you cannot pray in the night early hours of the morning why not put a little worship song 
Guard your spirit. Sing one or two songs. Blast every mountain before you in tongues. And walk out in the day. And you become a living miracle. You are walking with the heavens open. And what looks miraculous for others becomes your atmosphere. Men will sit down and plot evil. You will walk on it as if Satan does not exist. Ah, those are the people who will not be affected by the arrows that fly by day. Not the noisome pestilence. There are people who will be affected. You are a Christian but you will still be affected. But there are those who are immune. I pity the native doctor that calls my name in any time. It's not just that it, if all that happens is that it does not work, I'm still seated for calling my name that charm and the native doctor was born to ashes. When Elijah finished proving his point, he said, no, 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 if we stop here, that's not all. Go and meet those prophets, kill every one of them as a testament that you don't try God. The devil has mocked some of our lives and we are just watching running for counseling and discussing some of you this night you will lock your door and say i'm offering my phone lord it must change families don't pray they discuss they call people to come and gossip but they never pray we meet people for counseling we go and meet babalao we go and meet all kinds of people but we never pray we pray as a last resort Oh God, I come to you. You too, you have seen what we have done. We have made all of our efforts. Whereas, we should come before God. There was a king in the Bible who died because he didn't seek God. It was a taboo to seek other things when you have problems. We depend on uncles. If I talk to my uncle, he will do this. Let me tell you, never take action on anything until you have prayed about it. Especially major decisions in your life no matter how convinced you are pray because there is a way that cement right unto a man but the bible says the end thereof i can't tell you how many things i wanted to do plans i had physically speaking they look fabulous but when i went to the place of prayer there are many things we wanted to do as a ministry i would discuss in our leaders meeting oh we are going to do a and b i will go back to god it is silent i come back they know already the moment i say we'll do a thing and I'm silent about it. They know God has. Do you have the courage to keep quiet if God is silent? Do you have the courage to stand still if God is not moving? If the cloud did not move, they did not move. If it stood still, stand still. The true benefit of prayer, not this thing people do just for spirituality, just to show that I'm a man of prayer, people bend and deceive themselves to show they are praying that's not a sign of prayer that's nonsense those are the kinds of things that make god look like an idiot prayer is serious business and it commands victory say i receive grace to pray say it again i receive grace to pray grace to pray take charge of your atmosphere there are giants on every mountain if they didn't spare jesus they will not spare you i guarantee you make no mistakes do not think they will not come for your business or your family or your children. You have the testimony of our dear mother. Do not think they will, they will, the devil will attack anything that can be attacked. If it does not happen, it's coming. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord. The Bible says after the temptation, he left Jesus for a season. For a season. He came through Peter. Jesus detected him. He said, ah, you caught me. The next time he came through Judas, the son of perdition. Jesus allowed it to be so that scriptures will be fulfilled, not because he was not ready to overcome. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from your throne and I'll hear from the earth. My altar is calling you. Oh God, my prayer is calling you. Oh God, oh speak from the heavens and I'll hear you from the earth. Oh speak from your throne and I'll hear you from the earth, from my altar. Is calling you, oh God, my 
my secret place is calling you. Oh God, take my place. have an altar that calls him do you have a secret place that calls him when there are men who seek your flesh and they are invoking upon altars is there an altar that answers or are you just loitering around hoping that life will work men have died because they did not have altars let me tell you please play no games I'm not scaring you lady don't think you will just get married because you are beautiful take back your priestly robe tonight and go back to the place of prayer there is an effectual fervent prayer there are many brothers you will not just be established because you are a graduate there are giants on every mountain a man can look at you with his saddest spirit and vow that you will not move forward it takes prayer to move mountains by the grace of God this ministry is moving as if the devil does not exist it's not because the devil does not want to destroy this ministry there is a mystery there are there are mysteries like cornerstones that we have found and put around the boundaries of this ministry number three the third key to carrying and releasing the glory and the manifest presence of God is worship the last scripture and then we'll continue next week during the miracle service second chronicles chapter 5 we'll read verse 13 and 14 just two verses very interesting this was the dedication of the temple when solomon had built the temple there was a sacrifice upon the altar and he was about to dedicate the temple hallelujah second chronicles 13 and 14 it came to pass listen as the trumpeters and singers were what as one making one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord and when they lifted up their voice with trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying for he is good for his mercy endured forever that what then the house was filled with the the cloud filled the whole house right the next verse so that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud for the glory of the lord had filled the house listen in 2005 i conducted a personal research jewish worship and the mystery of God's presence I was obsessed I wanted to know what the secret was how will a man just step into a place and the atmosphere just changes physically as if he carries a dimension of glory I wanted to find out because I saw this happen in the lives of the Jews I saw this happen to people who were associated to the Jews like Benihim and so on and so forth they would just sing and worship and before you know it the glory will fill the place oh i wish we had time we'll take it from here next week but brothers and sisters worship is a mystery that compels the presence of god to be made manifest worship is a mystery the third key to activating the manifested presence of god here and now in a place worship it's not enough to just be obedient as powerful as prayer is there is a dimension many of us are missing in our spiritual life worship the bible says in psalm 100 it says that we enter his gates with thanksgiving then it says and his courts with praise it says come before him with singing the protocol to meeting him is song singing come before him it has nothing to do with the quality of your voice it has nothing to do with your music proficiency although that's an added advantage however you cannot 
give an excuse that because I cannot sing, I cannot raise songs and incense of worship unto God. Next week I'm going to be teaching us the protocol of acceptable worship. Not every kind of worship is acceptable. The proof that your worship is acceptable is that His glory responds to it. I will share with us the mystery of Cain and Abel, a type of the man of the spirit and the man of the flesh. The Bible says both of them, they came and they offered sacrifices of worship, right? And Abel gave of his firstlings and his fatlings. And Cain just gave up the vegetables and all of that. And then the Bible says how that the sacrifice of Abel rose up to the heavens. And that of Cain did not rise up and Cain killed Abel. When God met Cain, he said, where is, you know, where is Abel? He said, am I my brother's keeper? And then he began to challenge him. And he said that if he did what was right, paraphrasing, would his sacrifice not be accepted? Sacrifice of worship is not just about singing. There is a protocol that leads to acceptable worship. The first key to acceptable worship is found in Romans chapter 12 from verse 1 I beseech thee brethren by the message of God that ye offer your bodies that's the first key that ye offer your bodies not your songs not your voice not your offering not your oblations not the lifting up of your hands like the morning sacrifice above and beyond that there is a protocol there is a system that must precede your songs he says your body must become a prototype of what you want to offer with your lips and then hebrews 13 gives us a picture of the fact that worship and praise is sacrificial so the first is there must be death we explain that the second is that it must be a sacrifice it says let us offer unto god the sacrifice of praise which are the calves of our lips he calls your sacrifice the calf of your lips in the similitude of that which was done in ancient times in the temple he says when you worship god it is in the similitude of the killing of bulls and rams he says offer the calves of your lips a sacrifice that is acceptable unto him hallelujah that's why we took our time to worship and as we began to worship god began to respond and touch people the spirit of prophecy came upon us and we began to minister three short things that i've given you tonight that control the manifestation of god's glory you can't argue it they are not they are not they are not opinions they are the spiritual formula for accessing the glory of god number one obedience Number two, a, a consistent life of effectual prayer. Hallelujah. Number three, the incense of worship. Oh, let my praise rise before you. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. These are all mysteries. The mystery of the lifting up of hands. The mystery of repetition as you sing. You see a lot of people sing it. The Jews used to sing songs, one line. They would sing it for hours. Just like you see many people in many religions. It's, it's not an enchantment. There is something they do. The mystery of repetition. You see that happen in the songs that the psalmist wrote. Their response will be for him. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise the Lord. For he is good and his mercies endure forever. Or for his mercies shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And so he will say a lot of things and then they will keep responding. Listen, they didn't write songs as musicians. They wrote songs as spiritual men. They didn't have that skill to compose songs. It was as it was delivered to them. It was delivered in a particular way that if they sang it, it will make God respond in a particular way. 
for instance that formula you are good and your mercy endures forever you know i've studied it i found out that every time the nation of israel wanted deliverance that was the song they sang it had to be that line they invoke the goodness and the mercy of god two things that we quote every sunday they are following us and we never see because we don't believe them the goodness of god and the mercy of god it was the goodness of god that passed before moses i will let my goodness a dimension of my glory called my goodness pass and then his mercy he says for it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed hallelujah we're going to rise and pray just for a few minutes and say lord i want to see your glory in my life i'm tired of just being a christian coming to church i want to begin to walk in the glory of god lift your hands and begin to pray hallelujah lift your hands and pray father i desire to see the glory the manifest presence of god in my life can you pray please go ahead Kanonya, are you praying? Shebra kata bara da bara da bara da bara da bara. I desire to see your glory in my life, Lord. I'm tired of a barren Christian life. I receive that grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace. I want to see your glory revealed in my life. Let the eyes of the blind be opened through my hands. Let the tears of the dead be unstopped. Let my life represent breakthroughs, signs, wonders, miracles. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Grace for unusual obedience. Lift your voice and pray. Grace. 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 Grace for unusual obedience. Those outside, make sure you are praying. Grace for usual obedience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, please I'd like you to pray. If your prayer life is dead on its way to death, don't feel condemned, don't feel embarrassed, but I'd like you to pray. And say lord bring it back alive my prayer life at every level you can move higher lift your voice and pray the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous are filled much make sure you are praying Lord, I'm tired of lack of discernment in my life. I'm tired of acting carnally. I'm tired of acting just by my sensory impulses. I pray my way to divine secrets. I pray my way to divine strategies. I pray my way to divine secrets. hallelujah hallelujah let's add one more prayer under the area of prayer you're going to pray many of us see things and hear things but there is no grace access to understanding so there are so many things god is showing us but we are deaf of understanding so we do not have the grace to interpret or to interpret correctly lift your voice and cry say grace to understand he said understand that what thou readest is one thing to see is one thing to have a dream is one thing to hear god speak but it's another thing to understand the working knowledge of the revelations you have received you need it for your marriage you need it for your ministry you need it for your job you need it to know where god wants you to be part time understanding understanding lord i'll not just have dreams i receive understanding i'll not just hear your voice i receive interpretations act 
accurate on emotional interpretations of spiritual reality hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point lord teach me the art of worship worship in a way that can bring your presence to abide and remain in my life lift your voice give me songs from heaven give me songs in the night melodies of the spirit let me hear the songs of angels let me hear the sound of the spirit give me the songs for every season the song to sing my way into the glory to sing my way into breakthrough to sing my way into healings and miracles to sing my way into prophecy grace to sing the songs of the spirit hallelujah hallelujah next week i'll teach you briefly before i begin to minister during the miracle service listen pay attention to the songs that god brings in your life seasonally there are times the spirit is the one who recommends the song you will use in your worship stay there don't be rebellious those songs have authority upon them to bring a dimension of breakthrough in the last maybe three months the lord speaks to me through songs i have i have gotten so many songs are we together now pay attention music is one of the languages in the spirit you must pay attention to the impulses the sounds sometimes it could just be the line of a song you are glorious so glorious in your way that's what lands upon your spirit don't just guess your song and say the song is not in my tribe no there is authority in that song it's like a sword it's an instrument of warfare you keep singing it sometimes for hours are we together now yeah that's how i get see let me tell you i can give you testimonies of personal breakthroughs in my life as a result of certain songs so glorious in your way no other song will do you just keep singing it you get up in the morning and that's the only song you hear my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by that may be a song in your spirit you may just receive it god is telling you i'm coming too for you but you see the problem is many of us do not know you are supposed to take it don't stop singing it that's your instrument that's a pass in the spirit but we drop it and then raise all kinds of choruses in our languages and we're just singing and dancing and god is saying no there is acceptable worship are we together there are times you see us in koinonia here two weeks three weeks when i come up stage or the worship team we keep repeating certain songs there is authority upon the songs we stretch them until the grace that they came with from heaven is delivered unto the people then the songs will rest pay attention to songs everyone can receive songs whether you're a musician or not it's a product of alignment not just musical accuracy you can edit it but you can receive a song hold on to it and sing your way to an ending breakthrough it was the playing of the string that casted out demons right from david there was a sound that the spirits heard he said there is as it were many voices and none of them is without effect your worship is an incense it's a language that calls the presence of god you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to somebody tonight when the spirit takes over your soul when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the
the spirit takes over your soul tonight God will take away that garment of shame he will take it away he will remove it and give you a new garment that when you step out everyone will know that you met the Lord I want you to believe I'm not just motivating you his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul I'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over that garment of reproach over your life it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul and his mother called him Jabez she said because I bore him in sorrow Jabez did not name himself he was a victim of his mother's prophecy his mother's pain made her to call him Jabez. Jabez. A name that brought sorrow. And Jabez grew up everywhere he went. He saw sorrow. What did this man do? Who sinned? Was it him or his parents? Jabez's mother cursed him. He said, you cursed me sorrow. As a result, you will live in sorrow. But a day came, Jabez said, no, come on God. There must be a way of negotiating this. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Remedy this curse over my life. Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. I can't live like this. Lord, you are a just God. You must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not. I cannot be suffering because my father was a king. I can't be suffering because we worship idols. I was not there. Come on now. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents. I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child. Lord, we must negotiate this night. There is a way I'm going to hold on to you. There must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen hear me friends if you can hold on to the hand of God tonight you will leave this place with something but if you come here casually he will keep clapping for people who came here desperately there are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days and they said lord i'm holding on to you jabez mother called him jabez and jabez said oh god thou would you not bless me enlarge my coast and the bible said god answered him hallelujah The thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him was a due recompense for his wickedness he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been 
I've not been giving. I've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around. And I know that I gave Satan legal access. But tonight, oh God, I'm negotiating with you. I come. What do you think going to the throne of grace is? It's not just to go and stand there. You go and talk and say, Lord, it is written. It is written. Although it is true that the soul that sins die, it is written. Also, that is not your desire that any wicked perish. It is written. You take the word of God, the legal system of heaven. It said, produce your cause. Bring forth your strong reasons. Convince me. What is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft? Convince me. I saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family. It looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Haya. arise shine my light is come And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. We will arise, arise, shine. Our light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. And I got angry. I said, Lord. If there is nobody to speak in my family i can't speak what is happening my younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination my elder sister for years would not get admission things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order Come on now, I prophesy. Let there be order. Listen, if there is nobody to speak in your family, the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says, I provoke another voice. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. Hallelujah. Please sit down for a moment we are soon going to stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to walking in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father 
or mother. Question. Neither father or mother. That means could not be affected by any ancestry. Are you getting my point? Melchizedek, a man who came. That was the similitude of the Christ. That was why it was Melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed Abraham. He said, Abraham, you don't know who is blessing you, but you come. Blessed be Abraham, possessor of, he says, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. What gave, how can a man bless a fellow man like that? The Bible says, based on the principle of adumbration, that means the four acting of something that will actually act. Melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the Christ. Just like Elijah, are you getting my point now? Elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic. Moses came as the law. So Melchizedek showed up and he said, Abraham, you come from a land of witchcraft called all of the Chaldeans. They were wizards in that place. Are you getting my point? Abraham was not born a Christian. Abraham was born an idol worshiper. And when he met this priest called Mel Melchizedek, he said, let me do something to you. Abraham, come. I'm about to change certain things. Look at me. You are not going to get anything from my ancestry. Without father or mother, yet I'm a king and still I am a priest. He said, Melchizedek from today, possess the heavens. I mean, Abraham, possess the heavens and the earth. We talk so much about Abraham, but the man that spoke and changed his situation, Melchizedek. Right now, we have come as those sons and daughters of Abraham. Are you getting my point? And the Bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us, that priest comes in the order of Melchizedek. So when the Habalists lift up their rod like the Egyptians, suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says, all right, you can say what you want to say, but we change it because there is respect in the spirit. The military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit. Never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man. It's not about size. It's not about age. It's about ranking. So when this priest comes after the order of Melchizedek, he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you. He says, walk out of all this. And that high priest, Christ himself, who became both the lamb and became the high priest, is here for you tonight. Listen, listen. It doesn't matter which of these three categories. There are many people who will be saying, Lord, I know. I just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me. I want you to know there is abundance of it. That voice that speaks against you. There is another blood that speaks. And for many of us who are coming, it's not your fault, but you were born from that state. Tonight, a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you. I have waited for this moment to come. Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I will go back. I will go back. Then go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. So tonight. I want you to believe Jesus told us something he said as my father has sent me with the same assignment and the same equipping let's look at that scripture oh hallelujah 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 
Zembros kapa rekete le kapo shata ba 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 ba. Come on, just pray in tongues for one minute. Something just entered my spirit. Kande kabala kashata ba la da da da. As my Father has sent me with the same equipping, with the same equipping. John twenty. John twenty. John 20 ah goodness John 20 are you there then said Jesus to them listen peace be to you as my father has sent me he said even so send I you so he showed us the very next verse how the father sent him that means he equipped me the father did something to me and I'm about to do the same thing to you. And it will make you do the works that he did. Watch this. 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. He said, this is the secret. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. I transfer the ministry of the Holy Spirit from me to you. Let him walk with you. And you will do wonders. You will suddenly become a priest. You will suddenly become a king. The same way I set men free. He will empower you. And you will set men free. The same way I spoke. And it came to pass. Now the same way the Holy Ghost walked with me. This was my secret. Receive ye. Receive. That means you can reject him. He said receive. Don't reject him. Receive. When he comes to you. Receive. His presence makes you become like Jesus. It's not about praying in tongues. It's more than praying in tongues. You receive him. You can reject him. Jesus said when he comes, receive, receive. Don't reject. Many people have been rejecting him. You are praying in tongues, but you've been rejecting him. Tonight, receive him. Receive him. Receive his ministry. Jesus said when he comes, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. The same way you receive a visitor. Question, how do you receive a visitor in your house? When a visitor comes, you put a chair. You say you are welcome. Let me bring food for you. What do you want? That's how to receive. You don't stand at the door and say, Mr. Man, what did you come to look for? That's how many of us are receiving the Holy Ghost. You are praying in tongues, but you truly have not received his ministry. Tonight, will you receive that ministry? Will you receive the same way you receive a visitor? The Bible says, be careful. Entertain men well. For in need, some of you have entertained strangers. That's why you see us honor his presence so much. Because Jesus left him. Without the Holy Spirit, while I was praying, I said, Holy Spirit, we're in partnership with you. I will do the talking. I will do all the things. My own part of the deal. I will do it well. And I know for sure. That's what gives us confidence to announce that people will be healed. That's what gives us confidence. There is an audacity. There is always a side to your life you cannot explain. That's the side where the Holy Ghost steps in. If you can explain everything about your life, you are walking alone. There should be a supernatural dimension. I've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained. The other part now, the Holy Ghost does not just talk. He explains it with the results. Oh, that's why I love him. Doesn't have room for long stories. Tonight, God is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say, Lord, I'm tired. The worship team sang it beautifully. They said, I'm tired of the status quo. Tonight, there are many of us here who may be wondering, but what is wrong with my life? I've not done anything wrong. What you need is an appointment by prophecy. The Bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness. It says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, 
that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord assured me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one nine verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called Sadiq Ibrahim I never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of HIV right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means 
the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony he was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship hallelujah lord jesus change our situation tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have is only god that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like i see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease i remember a particular lady i was talking to i think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when i got to hear about it i said interesting come and die here hallelujah 
just come and die here there is a rod of a higher priesthood there is a rod of a higher priesthood is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am that's what God is asking somebody tonight is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am is there anything Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of for him to do I am that I am is there anything too hard for him to do I am that I am lift your hands everybody and let us worship him Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God.
say that about that about it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God involve God and it becomes possible. That sickness will never go, but with God, that sickness suddenly leaves. That situation will never change, but with God. That's why we are singing that song, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this road let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now Ena na ne na si kanya, shaba ne na se na riani. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost, Emmanuel. His name is God, Emmanuel. His name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her, no devil will stop her. Your name is called. Emmanuel, 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 Em
your name is called Emmanuel Your name is called One more time Your name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Your name is called Your name is God. Yeah, Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. His name is God, Emmanuel, He is called, Emmanuel, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you, oh God. My altar is calling you, oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalists. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God, inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside. And there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One. Two, three, shout Jesus. Shake up a pack of pressure. I cause powers. Every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. 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 Every act of witchcraft. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost you come under the judgment of God inside and outside right now let the power of God bring deliverance for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness I see a number of angels you're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you Jesus are you ready now those outside I see the power of God like files of fire one two at the count of three shout Jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God blessed is he who comes in the name of our God those outside be sensitive there is so much power I don't know what it is but the, the power of God is so strong outside in the name of our God hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus name of our God Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord. Most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. I set you free now out of her now that devil of darkness blessed is he who comes in the hallelujah please help her ladies it's not easy I know just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her. She will come. Now. Quickly. I call you Lord. Most high. Don't touch her. She will come by herself. Let her go now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now thank you Jesus I bring you liberty be free now in Jesus name she's free
in the name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priest who let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys let the anointing of the spirit flow through you as you minister to her in the name of Jesus she will go come lay hands on this lady out of her now thou devil of darkness I cost you I see you in the spirit out out let her go free her time of deliverance is now I speak to you wicked spirit let her go now Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther, please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther. Who is Deborah? Deborah. Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red. Red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look guys, speak to them and let them, you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time. Don't. You will save yourself a lot of energy. It makes no difference who is speaking. Queen. Who is queen, you are queen. I need to pray for you. You have a blood condition. Victoria, 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 Victoria. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel, you are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady and I saw something that looks like a lizard and is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. 
just leads to her heart region and is just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region. That devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, okay. come, 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 come. You must be set free. Now hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now. Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? We pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus um the Lord is showing me about three people there's a severe skin infection that is you have done all you It's a very serious thing in fact it's even embarrassing it's even embarrassing there are three people this is one there's there's, there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit be free now in the name of Jesus let him go I set you free be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me I'm seeing you tied not only are you I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. visit your people oh god these are the ones that you died for look how many people 
are inflicted by ulcers i'll pray for you very quickly please i want you to believe as i lay my hands on on you the power of god will come upon you and you'll be free just begin to breathe in some of you will feel because the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing it you will feel something leave you just come out of you hallelujah thank you jesus christ be free now out come out of her now in the name of jesus out out of her thank you jesus christ be free right now out out please as i pray for you check yourself he's able out come out i'll pray for you and i'll talk to you in the name of jesus christ i set you free by the power of the holy ghost i set you free by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ i set you free be free now in the name of jesus christ be free in the name of jesus christ he's able bring the lady shout in there hey, hey, hey. say he's able let her go in the name of jesus I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God is able. God is able. God. And that spirit of infirmity leave her right now never to return be free now in jesus name complete freedom showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down on the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please with that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to shika and came back shika and came back because this person i'm seeing they took the person to shika and brought the person back you my mother has one being in shika she went to shika what are you people coming out for why is the man insisting that is the one what is it you came from shika you are coming from shika What's wrong with you? 
this one is a woman who is not you but anyway what's this situation but it's a, no 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 what what just straight to the point what happened my body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move i want to fall this is the spirit of death now you would have died before today hold my hands i want to pray with you you'll be free now thank you jesus i set you free in the name of the lord jesus christ what couldn't you do before Ogasa? what couldn't you do before what couldn't you do before what what is it that you could not do before okay come climb let's see if you feel weak again i pray for you just just walk let me see try to jump any weakness don't worry now if you want to jump you fall Shabia, i've prayed for you fall and die here jump <laughs> any weakness any weakness in your body try it again try it again. look at this is somebody that came he said he went to shika Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg, I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. Right? You're a footballer? Yes. I had a fracture for eight months. You have a fracture. Now, on the leg, there is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come close your eyes open your eyes thank you jesus christ Aya. the holy spirit young gicho wrote a book he said the holy spirit my senior partner watch what happens to this guy now my brother look at me you are an adult so you will not tell lies right watch i don't want you to miss your miracle where is the fracture exactly all right watch what happens to you now lay your own hands there the hands you'll be using every day thank you lord jesus christ you sense what is happening to you right now are you seeing this look at what is happening to him you see the power of god you see the power of god on him he's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again that's the end of it stand up stand up jump do what you couldn't do just do it test yourself look at this look at see the guy is even rejoicing this is somebody with a fracture, fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for on here. See, there's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you do. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. Your leg. Come, 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 don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the, no, 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 you don't need to lift your hand. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that. You woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> Huh? all right but seriously let's pray hold my hands heal her lord set her free right now the power of god is coming upon you that leg in the name of jesus christ no pain see that's the power of god coming upon your leg check yourself check honestly check yourself look at the power of god is moving strongly check check do you feel any pain you feel any She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. 
that devil has gone never to return again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah goodness the Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now someone you have a hole you used to have a hole in your teeth check it now you will not see that hole there please check it and come out this is a miracle that has just happened now please I'm going to start praying in mass for people but you will be very surprised when when that happens to you just come out quickly the Lord should once God shows me something he has done it please check yourself check yourself we're not faking this thing here make sure you check yourself you will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of Jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I come. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who is preparing to go to India for is preparing to go to India for surgery. What of you? Yes, sir. What of you? You you have a heart problem. Since when did you know about it? February. The doctors told you. What did they say is wrong? Palpitation. Palpitation. Oh. Doctor, doctor. Where's that doctor in Oshas? You are the one self. Oh yeah, Ogasa, what does that mean? Doctor, tell us. 
Huh? Say she has palpitations. Abnormal beating of the heart. Ah, okay. It's loud and you can hear it even when she is. So it's a, you don't use stethoscope, you can hear it. So it's a serious situation. She will be healed now. You're a doctor now, wait. You'll go to hospital tomorrow, but for now. My dear, do you believe Jesus will heal you completely? Lay one hand on your chest. Lord, let her be healed right now. The power of God is flowing through you. Just breathe in and out. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. Please check yourself. Lord, have mercy on the Father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection in the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke as I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some okay, your dad too of stroke. Because immediately I had I held your hand, I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you. Because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny, goodness, I sense the power of God, in the name that is above all names, Father, I pray, that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release their marital destinies now. Release their marital destinies now. Every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus. I arrest it. I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shake it. Prokotoba. Man bros get delegosia. Was he going to shout that name over this case? The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One, shake it up, two, get ready now, get ready with your hands lifted. Three, be released now, be released now, be released now. 
I command chains, chains, marital chains, be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, Seek out of the book and read. It said, None of this shall fail, none shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names. That sister that God has destined for you, we release her into your life now. Now, now, hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request? Please, if you don't have it, it's time to begin to write it now. For all those who are sick, you are sick in your body, you came specifically for healing. It's your time now. Please come out. Please come out. Come out. Just come and stand here. Everyone sick. Everyone sick. Inside and outside. Just find your way and line up here. Ushers, just arrange them quickly. Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you and as I lay that hands upon you hallelujah I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life whatever the situation is hallelujah worship team lead us in a powerful moment of worship hallelujah Lord we give you the praise thank you for healing in the name of Jesus those of you who are sitting please write your prayer requests once you are done just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus, he name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Pray for me. My Ow. God is he awesome. Awesome. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. He is awesome. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. He is awesome. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. He is awesome. He is awesome. He now. Be healed, mommy. In the name of Jesus. Protect 
Hallelujah. 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 All those trusting God for a job, please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west. In the name that is above all names. I pray. May the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. I speak it and I prophesy it. May my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus. As you are lifting up that hands, let an anointing come upon that hand. Keep it lifted, please. That hand that is lifted, I pray. Let an anointing come upon it. The oil of gladness that sets you above your equals. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have submitted your CV, I pray. May my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus. And every power that is stopping your job, in the name that is above all names, the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, against Israel. I command right now, let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please, everybody stand. Submit your prayer request. Do we have it? This is a very prophetic moment. We have a few minutes, but this is where everybody gets to receive. Please. I want you to be very, very sensitive. If you've not submitted your prayer request, please just do that quickly. This, this, just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here Hallelujah. This is the second time God is giving me this instruction. Usually we just pray on it and once we are done here. But this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night. There is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. This request represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart 
and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of god will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the lord jesus we're going to pray pastor alpha come femi come benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony Rabaka pro so so pretecate. See the bow shopro dos copre decate. Secatata tabala rada. Shopro toko to precadevala rada bos. Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. Secatata. Rekete pokoto prekete baladabos, pata kapa pakate, e prekete lekete, sote kete pros, e prekete lekete tete, rekete rekese, e pros ko proto subah, lekete baladabaka tapakete baladabos. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because with God nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand. Those who are visiting with us, all those who are who came from outside Zaria, please come out. I'll minister to you now. I want you to come out expecting the Lord. There are so many people who have come from different places. Please just come out. Sit up. I'll pray for them. And I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Launching from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing you will carry an anointing in the name of jesus christ just clash the symbols please play strings 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 in the name of jesus anoint them in the name of jesus be blessed Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. 
the name of Jesus. You do glorious things. You're unfaithful. Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. You're Take this anointing with you. In the name of Jesus, awesome to your locality, today. do mighty things for the King. Out, out. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, anointing. Oh, anointing. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit break through. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing come. Greater apostolic signs. Greater apostolic wonders. Awesome is your name. Awesome is your name. Awesome Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing 
inside and outside take it now by the power of the holy ghost take it now take it now go and heal the sick go and heal the sick you will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed you will cast out devils receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus receive it i pray i command the prophetic let it be activated now prophetic fountains be open now visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions sopotopate i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it Hallelujah. Stop I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the Spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus. At the count of three, different gifts will be activated in people right now. One, two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now i activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hand hold your hand take it now take it now take it i activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Shotototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototototot
Matoskopo rekete. Satatete bakabada. Now I want to prophesy very quickly. Please, I want you to shout Amen. Every closed door over your life, in the name that is above all names, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Every closed door, be open now. 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 I pray right now. Every opportunity you have lost, I don't care what it is. I prophesy right now. Receive restoration. Receive restoration. By the power of the Holy Ghost, receive restoration now. Receive restoration now. Hallelujah. Every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names. I command those families to be free now. Be free now. Free from hardship. Free from hardship. The Bible says to appoint unto them that morning in Zion. I pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names I cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now I cause it to its root now I pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper I don't care where they are right now in the name of Jesus like prophet Ezekiel I call them he said I prophesied as I was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this favor anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor I command favor in the name of Jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of Jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of Ezekiel hear ye the word of the Lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage I come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the Lord come alive now Come alive now. Come alive now. Come alive now. I prophesy that by the next miracle service, you will return with a change of garment. 
that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of Jesus I release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing I command ministry grow church grow in the name of Jesus hallelujah Lord we give you the praise I'm going to make an altar call right now if you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made Jesus Lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a Christian but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ I'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying Lord I return to you I don't care whether you've been born again before please I want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the Lord Jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the Lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them I believe there are people God bless you God bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage God bless you God bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you Jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming God bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you Jesus hallelujah I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem I want you to say after me Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you I believe you died for me I believe you shed your blood to set me free I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the Lord Jesus may your Christian experience be authentic in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate Jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the Lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do Lord Jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah
Thank you so much for coming. All of you who took out the time to come, we really celebrate you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia Ministry, put to, a program put together by Eternity Network International. Thank you so much for coming. We are here every Friday. Not this exact venue, but every Friday. As God grants you the grace, it will always be a blessing having you around. Praise the Lord. We have a blessing in the house. And this is the gift we release to everyone who comes. And I want the saints of God to stretch their hands and just bless you. I want you to receive it. Please bless them. Professor, you have a blessing upon your lips. I want you to speak it. We bless you. Let the hand of God be strong upon your life. In the name of Jesus, we bless you with hunger for the things of the Spirit. We bless you with passion for God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you with advancement. We bless you with favor. We bless you with speed. In the name of Jesus, may you experience the power of God strong in your life. We bless your finances. Let the heavens be open over your life. In the name of Jesus, thank you again for coming. We love you and we celebrate you. Now, we'd just like you to follow the ushers, that gentleman waving his hands, and they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf. Koinonia, celebrate them very quickly. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you